This video is going to show you how to make song slides in ProPresenter 7. So the first thing you'll do is go to your songs library then come down to items and press the plus to start a new presentation. Here under file name, you'll put the title of your song. I'm going to be doing Heart of God, so I'll go ahead and type that in. And then under theme, you'll click this little black arrow to choose the EHC song default template. And then under size, double check that it is 1280 by 800 and then click new. That'll bring you to this new song that you've just created and it has one slide automatically. You'll take that slide, right click on it and click edit slide. Then up here where it has your song title next to it, click this little plus, add a slide and then add one more slide. This Slide number one will be where the moving background goes for the song. Slide number two will be where the song title and the copyright information goes. We'll come back to that later. And then slide number three will be where you start the lyrics. Here you'll go to Safari. You'll Google search for lyrics for your song. I like to just use what Google brings up, if it brings up the correct artist, but then you'll also want to start a new tab search to find chords, because the chords will give you these breakdowns of chorus, bridge, and verse that you'll need to put the slides into groups later. But for now, we'll use these lyrics from Google because they copy and paste really well. So you'll go ahead and highlight the first section, copy it, Come back to ProPresenter, double click where it says text, and then paste and match style. And you'll come back up to your plus next to the title, add a new slide, and in Safari, copy your next section of text. And then double click, paste and match style. And you'll keep doing this for the rest of the song lyrics that Safari brings up, except for places where you see that the text blocks match exactly. So right here, we've got a text block that later matches exactly. So you'll just make this once. You don't need to make it multiple times. We will fix that later with the groups. So then you'll just finish copying and pasting your groups of lyrics. And now that I've got all my lyrics, I need to add one more slide. I'll come up here, press the plus, add a new slide, and we're going to leave that blank because we'll need a blank slide at the end anyway. Now you'll have to edit your lyrics because now that we are doing more stuff through our live stream, we need to have all of our slides down to no more than two lines per slide. Otherwise, it will not look correct in the live stream. So we'll go ahead and start editing that. A pretty quick way to do that now that you've got your blocks of text in on your slides is to put the cursor right behind the last word you want on the slide, press Alt, and then press Enter on the keyboard, and it breaks it up into two slides with everything after the cursor on a new slide. So now I've got two slides where before I had one. And you'll do that for each block of text being careful to keep different phrases together so that you don't start a phrase on one slide and end it on another. Okay, now that everything is broken up into one or two lines per slide, we have all of the different pieces we need. So we'll go up here and click where it says show and it'll bring us to this view of ProPresenter. And here's where we're going to start putting the slides into groups. And that's when you'll need your chords or whatever it is that shows you the breakdown of the verses and the choruses and the bridges. So here we see that verse one starts with here I stand. So in ProPresenter 7, you'll come find that slide, right click on it, click on groups and click on verse one and that'll start your verse one group. Then back in Safari, 
you find your next group. It's verse two and it starts with, I try my best, but still I fail. So you'll find that in here, that's slide five. So we'll right click there, go to groups and click on verse two. And we'll keep doing that for all of them. The chorus starts at your mercy triumphs. So that starts here, group chorus one. The next group is verse three, well they say, it would be here, slide 13, they say that it's impossible. So group verse three. Then we have another chorus, but we're going to put that in later since we only had one block of text for that. So the next one is the bridge, all to Jesus I surrender. Slide 15, group bridge one. And then at the very end, you have your blank slide. So right click on that group, and you'll select blank. And now you have all of the different pieces you need. So you'll come up here to three little boxes with arrows where we have the arrangements and it'll bring up this little menu here. You'll click on this drop down box where it says master, click new arrangement and call it EHC with the date that you make the song. And you'll click OK, and it adds this little section to the menu right here. So this top group area shows you all of the different groups that you've made, and this shows you what you have in this current arrangement that you're looking at now. And this is how we'll add in those choruses and bridges that we skipped earlier. So back in Safari, we can see that it goes verse one, verse two, chorus, verse three. And we have all of that here, verse one, verse two, chorus, verse three. But then here it'll show us that after verse three, we have the chorus again, and we don't have that here. It goes verse three straight to bridge. So we'll come up to our groups, click on chorus one, and drag it behind chorus three. And now it automatically adds another chorus one behind verse three. Then we'll go back to Safari, and we see that after that, we have two of the bridge followed by a chorus to end the song. And here we only have one bridge, so we'll come back up to our groups, click on the bridge, drag it, and add it behind the first bridge. And since we know we need a chorus after that, we'll click and drag the chorus after the bridge. And now we have the whole song in there in the correct groups and it'll be very easy now on any particular Sunday to add or take out a chorus or a bridge as the worship team decides to change the way they sing the song. So now you'll go back to the first slide of lyrics, right click, edit slide, double click over the text and highlight all of it. The default lyric or uh, text style is not correct, so we'll fix that. You scroll all the way to the top and select this Avenir book and change the size of it to 60. And it should be centered both ways, that's correct. The text color will be white. And then you'll click this checkbox next to stroke. That will give it an outline. And click this up arrow next to the number for the width to bring it up to about five. And that should give us a good outline of the text and a good size for it. So then with the text highlighted, come up here and click copy style. And that will copy the text style and you'll go back to show and click on the second slide of text and then scroll down to the bottom and shift and click through the rest of your text slides and right click and come down to this menu and click on paste text style. And it'll take per presenter a minute to load, but then it will automatically change the text to match what you edited on that first slide. Then we'll come back to this title slide. We'll edit it 
and the text is not correct on this one either. It's mostly the same. You come up to the top and you select this Avenir book. But this one you can leave at the 42 because we want that to be a little smaller. We will go ahead and add the outline with the stroke, but this one you can do about 2.5 and that will give us a pretty good outline on that. And then you can go ahead and add in your information. So we'll have Heart of God and then the artist we can find in Safari. So back to our lyrics. If we come in here, just delete lyrics, Heart of God. It'll bring up this page on Google. It is by Hillsong Young and Free. And then on a new line, you will do the album, which Safari is telling us is three. And then it leave a space for the CCLI. I do not currently have a way to get the CCLI number. So when I have that, I'll come back and put it in. But for now, I'll leave it like it is. And then select it all and make it left justified and drag it back down to the corner and then that slide is almost done and then this slide number one where you can where you'll put the media you can go ahead and drag one in there That'll probably change week to week based off what other songs are done, but that's where that'll go. And two things I almost forgot to mention. You'll want to make sure you have transitions on your slides. So you'll do that by pressing Command A to select all of the slides and then right click over one of them. Click on Transitions and then it'll bring up this menu where you'll select this Dissolve 0 underscore 52 seconds. And then that should apply it to all of your slides. So you'll have your transition in place. And then you'll go to your first slide with your media. Right click, come down here to add action, then go to audience look and click on worship. And that will make sure that all of the slides display properly on all of our screens. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make song slides in ProPresenter 7.